Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have this 2005 Winnebago Journey Model 39K. This is a beautiful coach. Um, we actually sold it to the previous owners a few years ago. Um, it's got 2015 Michelin, or the date code is late week of 2014. We put it on uh, about three years old, so it's got good Michelin tires all around. Full body paint coach. Um, now let's go ahead and get into it, and as my dad would say, um, I want to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Oh, it's locked. Hold on. So it's got a beautiful full body paint. Um, this is very strong on the market, the colors of this coach. It's got a, it's like an earth tone color. Now in the RV industry, we always know earth tone color coaches are a lot stronger. Um, not sure why these people prefer these darker colors. You got some storage up here, the very front. It's got a 7,500 kilowatt generator and a 350 horsepower C7 cat. Now there's a little scrape there on the door handle. No biggie, it's two inches long. Now here it looks like you have some, uh, I think those are lug, not removers. Yeah, something like that. Now the store, the cool thing about it is the storage compartments, they're pretty large. Oh, is this locked? Hadn't been open in a while. Sometimes they get a little off track or something like that. Um, look, this is a very honest presentation. These are not perfect coaches, even new ones. Sometimes the compartments get a little off track. But the good thing to look for is check this out. All the seals are in good shape. There's no cracking. Um, that's a big thing going down the roads, a lot of dust. If it's really cold, all your compartments are sealed up. Um, Winnebago is known for having good, um, good sealant and the coaches are well insulated. Now, Check this out, it has electric cargo um, push button un unlock and lock, and the same thing for the door. So keyless entry, keyless uh, cargo door entry as well. More storage underneath here. All right, so we have a cool uh, opportunity to take a look at the frame. Uh, if you can, point the camera and get down in there. Almost no rust. There's some minimal, minimal surface rust here and there, but the frame is in excellent condition. Um, this is on a Freightliner custom chassis. Drives very well. And uh, like I said, we sold this coach a few, year, few, years, a few years ago, and the previous owner brought it back. They loved the coach. They did a few upgrades. It's got a brand new inverter. Um, the previous owner just put it in um, probably within a month. Um, so it's a brand new inverter, that's a big thing there. And it's got a very nice operating uh, unit for that inverter inside. We'll talk more about that later. This is your wet bay here, outside shower. This coach has Alco aluminum wheels all around. This is where you plug in your 50 amp power cord. There's that brand new inverter, check that out. Sandtrex, that's not a cheap inverter right there. I don't know how much those cost. Um, Probably around two to three grand is my estimate. Automatic transfer switch right there. You have a uh, cell phone cable hookups there. All right, let's take a step back around this coach. Um, and before we do that, I almost forgot, take a glance here. There's no delamination. Shut these compartments so you can take a closer look. The condition of the paint is in pretty good shape. Now check out these awnings. They're. Um, they're cloth awning covers for every single window that's not covered by the main patio awnings. And they do have aluminum shrouds, which is a huge plus um, because if you're not using them, they sit out in the sun. And that's the biggest reason you have to replace awnings is when they're stored, they don't have those shrouds um, and they just get eaten up by the UV rays and the sun and the heat. Um, so having aluminum shrouds is nice and it increases your uh, RF value. You don't have to run your air conditioning as much. You don't have the sun beaten down. Um, this coach also has tenon windows all, or, all around except for the front driving windows, um, which is another big plus in my opinion. I love tenon windows on RVs um, because these things get really hot. They can take a lot of beating from the sun. Um, and this is actually a basement air conditioning unit. Check this out. Here's where the air conditioning unit is. This is the unit. And in my opinion, this is one of the best air conditioned uh, coaches in the business. Um, you can get the coach down to 68 degrees in the middle of the summer if you'd like. They're very good units. 
Um, I believe this is a relatively, I believe the previous owner replaced that. I could be wrong. I think that's a new air conditioning unit. Um, don't take my word on that. I will get more information. Um, I'll talk to the previous owner, give him a call, see what he did and not. I know he put the new inverter, I talked about that. Um, but all I know, it's a super quiet because the air conditioning unit is not on the top, it's down here. So you don't hear it. All you hear is a little bit of the wind sound coming through the vents. Um, really nice system. Now we're gonna take a step up on the roof here in a minute, but before I wanna finish uh, the outside presentation of this coach, this is your hot water heater here. You also have batteries on this compartment as well, and they're on slide out trays. 11 of 17, one of 18. These are very new batteries. It's always a good sign. We know the owner. Um, he's a very, he's a nice gentleman and he takes care of his stuff. And it's always a good sign when you see someone replacing batteries, Duracell, nice batteries, um, only a few months before you selling it. It's good to see someone love the coach. When they're spending money on it just before they sell it, um, it's just a sign to us as dealers that someone cared for the coach. Now right here is a little scrape on the paint. Um, part of it is not all the way through, so you could probably polish most of it out. Over here it kind of gets through, so you probably couldn't polish all of that out. Uh, but if you polished it, it would look significantly better. Not a big deal though. Overall, the paint is in excellent condition. compartment up here. I believe this is your propane tank. Yes, it is. Large propane tank in good shape. Almost no rust on it on the main tank itself. More storage compartments under here. That's passed through, by the way. There's power outlets there if you want to hook up an entertainment center out here. There's your water pump. Easy, easy access. You got a diverter valve. Very easy to winterize these things. Under here you have more storage. And this is a little slide out tray here. Really nice to have. There are buttons inside the coach and that's almost past through. That goes to the other side of the coach. There are buttons on the inside of the coach to operate the electric awnings. There's also one button under here. That's the main button. Check it out, massive cloth electric awning. Fully electric awning, you just push a button and it comes out. This, uh, it's got an Oasis door awning that's electric as well, push button. Super nice. Um, that's probably about 1500 bucks for that awning at least. Let's see if I can figure out what key it is to unlock this. Um, if I can, it's no big deal. What it is is it's a radio and um, two speakers. So you have an outside, outside entertainment center. There's also cable. Um, a cable hookup if you wanted to plug a TV up out here. Oh, there we go, I got it. Check it out. Cable, you got your, uh, that's like a car outlet. You've got two regular 120 outlets. Upgraded Kenwood head unit, two nice speakers. Let's see how good of a system this is. Some situations, or as long April, Fulani Herds, minute. I'm just kind of curious, because sometimes they, uh... Wow, that's a good system. Very good system. Most of the time, outside speakers are very cheap, um, and you turn them up and they just start to garble that. That's a very good system. You can blast it, and there's no problem with it. Check out the paint on this thing. It's beautiful. This thing has a good bit of options on it. We'll talk more about that. Look at the Alco wheels are in good shape. They're shining very well. All right, we're going to take a step back here. Um, one other thing I want to—I talked about saying the good, bad, and the ugly. Now I want to point out the 3M film on the front of this thing um, is going bad. This is a very common problem. I'm sure if you're looking for RVs, you know, and you have seen plenty of this. Um, this will cost probably around $2,000 to $3,000 to get it fixed. At Camping World, it's ridiculous. Um, but honestly, you can just leave this. That's what I would do. There's no reason. You could even put a big bra on the front um, or just leave it. I mean, it's not hurting anything besides a little bit of the aesthetic of the coach. But if you wanted to get it replaced, we do have guys who can do it um, and we can work something out. They're very reasonable. Um, and if you wanted to get that replaced before purchasing, 
um, we'll give you the option to get it done at a very reasonable price. Let's go ahead and jump up on, uh, on top of the roof and uh, talk about the seals and things like that. All right, we're up on the roof now, and this is a one-piece fiberglass roof. Um, it's in excellent condition, super clean. Um, they're very easy to keep clean in the first place. Seals look really good. Look at your slide-out toppers. Those look brand new. They look brand new, these slide-out toppers. Now, depending on how long and how uh, often you, get your, you keep your slides out, they last up to five years, maybe longer. Um, these look very new. You get your horns right there. Front cap looks great. I've never seen this type of cap. This is pretty nice. It's like a, uh, it's got its own piece up there and there's a much smaller, see this makes a lot of sense um, because the lip is up so it's not constantly being blown on and the seal is not getting torn up and you have to put a small, and it's a smaller bead to keep it sealed. That's a good idea. Um, nice to see that kind of craftsmanship from the manufacturer. Condition of the awnings is in great condition. There's some bird crap on it, but besides that, very clean. <laughs> You've got a satellite dish up here, as well as a standard antenna. These, um, these vent fans are electric. You've got a small solar panel there. Seals look great. The roof is in excellent condition. Um, and like I said, you know, the rear, rear, rear seal looks very good. Um, but like I was saying, it is a one-piece fiberglass, which is a huge plus for this type of RV. All right, let's take a step inside this coach. Now this does have a electric step. Really nice. Now I hope you can uh, witness how quiet it is in here. The air conditioning is on full blast. All you can hear is just a little bit of the vent. Now we put brand new hardwood floors on in this coach throughout it. Um, there's only a place there isn't hardwood is uh, little pieces of carpet here and there. And uh, in the toilet area is linoleum that was uh, factory. Now this hardwood makes the coach look way better. Um, it had carpet here before, linoleum in the kitchen and bathroom area. Um, the hardwood is beautiful, makes the coach look a lot updated. It's got a dark wood in here. You have a lounge J couch here. A big plus you have a nice uh, um, really big I don't know what you'd call this it's a couch I don't know it looks like a very large love seat these are electric this turns into a bed here it's got recliners that come out from under here um, here it is so that comes out and then what you can do is put that up like there so that can be where you can set your feet. The other side is exactly the same. Or you can put this down and turn it into a bed. So when you do that on both sides, this turns into a sizable bed. Pretty good idea. This turns into a bed as well, dinette. The upholstery is in excellent condition throughout the coach. Check it out. No wear spots, no stains, no fading, excellent condition. You got some power outlets there. It's nice to have these 12 volt um, car power outlets all over as well. Um, you know, if you're traveling, you got your car plug-ins. Um, there are plug-ins all over the coach for that. It's super nice, good idea. Got your, cable, uh, your phone outlet. There's multiple phone outlets throughout the coach. Another nice feature. Now this has Corian countertops, even on this little place over here. Got a three burner gas stove. You got an oven. And this is cool, you don't see this often. It has an oven as well as a convection microwave. Um, you don't have a lot, most things are one or the other, which is okay, but this has both. If you prefer the oven or prefer the convection, you have both. Now check this out, this is pretty cool. This thing slides out. Massive storage. Little tray compartment here clean back in there. It's on a big slide out tray. Super nice. And that locks in place so it doesn't slide out on you. More storage up under here. Cutting board. Now you can probably just leave it in there. Yeah, you can leave it like that if you want to use it there. You can pull it out. It's nice to have there. 
cool feature. Plenty of counter space, dual sink. Now this has a new upgraded Samsung Smart TV in the front. See it right here. Professionally done. Got a perfect looking wood insert in the back. This looks OEM. Six CD, six, uh, actually no, that's a 10 disc CD changer. That's for the radio. That's pretty cool. Now check this out. This is a, uh, Winnebago and Itasca does this. They have these walkie talkies. Come with the coach. This is factory. This is a little charging station in here. They may need ba new batteries. They probably need new batteries. Yeah, they could use new batteries, but this is kind of cool. So you can just, if you're at a camp campground, you have kids, um, really nice to have. Sorry, I'm not, I can't really see it very well and I can't really understand. Okay, I'll put this back later. But that's kind of cool. You got uh, four walkie talkies, kind of fun. Kids love walkie talkies. You have a four-door refrigerator. This is the nicest refrigerator you can get in an RV um, in, in this generation of RVs. Super nice. It's got an ice. It's got ice maker maker hookups, um, but the ice maker has been taken out. So you can just plug an ice maker in there if you'd like, or just use these trays. A lot of times, those ice makers are not the most uh, reliable things. That's probably what happened. Now here you have your thermostat for your air conditioning system. This is your brand new Xantrex inverter controller here. Really nice here. This is where you check your tanks. Propane, all that. You can check your house battery, coach battery. This is telling you, uh, okay, look, you've got 50 amps. This is if you plug in in shore power, it'll tell you if you've got 20 amps, 30 amps, or 50 amps. Um, and in this case, we got we have the generator um, running, so it just says gen sets on, um, and it prefers gen set. That's telling you uh, power status, power applied when light on. So everything is powered right now. Refrigerator, fan speed, all this stuff is powered. Um, it's got two air conditioning compressors. This is showing you what the amps it's using. It's currently using 35 amps. Now the generator has 1,425 hours on it, which is nothing on a diesel generator. You've got an electric water heater the as well as the propane heater it's the same heater but there's a rod in the middle so you can use your 120 power if you'd like it does have an engine block heater as well that's pretty nice especially if you're going somewhere super cold take a step back here they've got a large shower here it does have a seat very wide spacious spacious shower i'm gonna stay, take a step in here i'm 511 Maybe six feet, six one with the bun, and a good bit of room above me. Lots of width. Um, very spacious shower. One of the biggest showers you'll get in an RV. Now this does have pocket doors, and this is the my favorite type of pocket doors. Um, is you just put your finger there and slide it. A lot of them that have locks on the bottom. Really annoying buttons. Um, I don't mean to insult other coaches. It's you know it's personal preference, but this is my favorite right here. You, all you do is put your finger and slide it down, and it does that. And guess what? It actually locks. You don't have to manually lock it. It locks in place there. And then you just slide it in, and it's locked again. Really nice because you separate your the rest of your coach from your bathroom area. There's also a separation door for the bedroom and uh, the bathroom. So someone can be using the bathroom and you can be asleep in the back and have no idea. Corian countertops, even in the little sink in the bathroom area. Eight bulb vanity, massive mirror, cabinet, medicine cabinet space behind. Really nice, spacious bathroom. There's more storage behind the toilet, of course. There's a sprayer off the toilet. So when you clean it, it makes it a lot easier electric fan in there you just flick a button and it electrically comes up lots of storage compartments these are adjustable beautiful woodwork throughout the coach this is a very favorable color um, 
the way this coach is set up, it is a strong market player. Um, the colors are strong, it's got good options, you've got an upgraded TV, um, brand new inverter, brand new floors, the wood floors are amazing. You don't see this in RVs um, very often, unless you're buying from us, of course. <laughs> you got a dimmer for your main light in here. Check out this separation door. Same concept as the front one, push it down, unlocks. Now this is a double door, but you bring it all the way over here, locks in place, you're good to go. Separated your uh, bedroom from the rest of the coach. Now I believe this is a full size bed. Um, they may, they probably took out their, uh, I don't blame them, these are expensive beds, they took out their uh, sleep number beds. Um, however, you can fit a queen in here. So there's, there's a good, I don't know, that's probably about five inches, six inches of uh, space left. So you can put a bigger bed in here if you like. Plenty of space in this bedroom area. It's a full walk around bed. So over here you can walk around, over there you can walk around as well. You get a massive, oh, and take a, check this out. Washer dryer combo, big plus. More longevity when you're taking uh, big trips. And back here you have your all your manuals and appliance manuals and coach manuals. It's all very organized. Here you have the Winnebago original sticker on it, 2005, 39K. You get the bin number, all the weight, factory installed options, 807 pounds. It's a lot of options. Um, this is a nice coach, huge space in the back here. I believe, yeah, this is access to your hot and cold water for your washer dryer. Now there's two engine compartment accesses from back here. Yep, there's one over here, that little thing that I'm standing on, and one in the closet. Really nice to have that engine access. You've got a radio back here, there's another phone jack, and another 12 volt um, car charger port, as well as regular 120 ports on both sides. Super nice, very convenient. There's plenty of storage all around the coach. Not talking about it too much, but you can see here there's lots of deep drawers. Said this many times, it would be boring if I talked about all the storage compartment space. This one in particular has a lot of storage, um, which is nice. And one thing I do like is that love couch is okay, but over here there's no compartments above your head. And I guess it makes up for it by having lots of storage and very convenient areas and nice pull-out bins everywhere. Uh, but you don't have this thing over your head, so if you sit up, you're not going to hit your head. Um, it makes it feel really big. You've got massive windows. Check out this window here. Massive windows. Anyways, that'll conclude our video for now. We're going to get on the road and test drive this thing. I already know this thing has a lot of power, 350 cat. Um, it's a C7. Um, but overall, it's a beautiful coach. There are a few flaws in here and there, uh, like the 3M, a little scratch here and there. But besides that, you've got a brand new inverter. Uh, motor runs great. You've got brand new hardwood floors. Um, overall, the condition of the upholstery is in really good shape. Um, you've got a one-piece fiberglass roof, electric awnings, lots of favorable options throughout the coach, including a washer dryer, uh, large shower. You've got a favorable setup in uh, interior design with the bathroom and the toilet being separate. Um, anyways, Corian countertops, I, I could talk about all the options and uh, go crazy with that, but I'm not going to. It's a beautiful coach. Um, one of my favorite things is the basement air conditioning. Super quiet system. And anyways, before I get too far into that, um, I encourage you to call or text me um, if you need any more information or would like to schedule an appointment to come view the coach. My name is Mayan Shah and my number is 864-376-5600. Thank you. All right, we're up on the roof now, and this is a one-piece fiberglass roof. Um, it's in excellent condition, super clean. Um, they're very easy to keep clean in the first place. Seals look really good. Look at your slide-out toppers. Those look brand new. They look brand new, these slide-out toppers. Now, depending on how long and how uh, often you, get your, you keep your slides out, they last up to five years, maybe longer. Um, these look very new. You get your horns right there. Front cap looks great. I've never seen this type of cap. 
This is pretty nice. It's like a, uh, it's got its own piece up there and there's a much smaller, see this makes a lot of sense um, because the lip is up so it's not constantly being blown on and the seal is not getting torn up and you have to put a small, and it's a smaller bead to keep it sealed. That's a good idea. Um, nice to see that kind of craftsmanship from the manufacturer. Condition of the awnings is in great condition. There's some bird crap on it, but besides that, very clean. <laughs> You've got a satellite dish up here, as well as a standard antenna. These, um, these vent fans are electric. You've got a small solar panel there. Seals look great. The roof is in excellent condition. Um, and like I said, uh, the rear, rear, rear seal looks very good. Um, but like I was saying, it is a one-piece fiberglass, which is a huge plus for this type of RV. All right, before we get on the road, I'd like to go over a quick overview with the, uh, with the cockpit. Now, this does have a smart wheel, um, so that has your, you can flash your high beams, flash your taillights. You control your windshield wipers here, the speed of the windshield wipers. You've got cruise control here, good horn. <laughs> and you've got your headlights over here. This does have an exhaust brake. Um, it's got a jacks down sensor, it'll scream at you, that's every coaches, most coaches have that. Fog lamps, you've got an AUX start here, you can switch your radio power to AUX or main. This is where you turn your auxiliary battery on, start your generator there. You've got auxiliary fans up there, you can turn your air horn off. Oh, it's such a cute horn. But then, <laughs> you got your air conditioning controls here. The AC is cold by the way, you don't see that very often um, in coaches. I don't know why, most RVs um, air conditioning just doesn't blow cold. Radio down here, this is where you use your slide out buttons are. This has a push button six speed Allison transmission. This does have a trick, trip tech um, option, which is pretty nice. You can show, it shows your all your miles to go, miles traveled, averages, your gallons used, miles per gallon averages, all kinds of stuff here. Um, now let's see miles per gallon average is 7.4 historically i'm not sure what type of driver the previous owner was and i don't know i think he had a tow car yeah he did he was towing so 7.4 towing that's pretty good um he was towing uh i believe it was a honda crv anyway color backup camera super nice you've got your hydraulic jack controls over here hydraulic jacks work great by the way these slide outs are also hydraulic which is really cool You've got electric sun visors here, electric door locks, mirror heat, really nice. It's got 77,501 miles. All right, let's get on the road. All right, we're getting on the highway now with this 2005 Winnebago Journey, model 39K. This thing drives great around town. Um, and, uh, where we talk about some specific things. I'm accelerating around. It's got plenty of power, plenty of power. Oh, that car's gonna end up off. I went around it. So we're up at uh, 60 miles an hour already. This thing is just, there's no problem. It has no problem with doing 60. Whoa, there's a nice Porsche back there. I can't wait till he comes up. Anyways, this thing, we're at uh, 63 miles an hour, approaching 65. No problem whatsoever. This thing has a lot of power. I encourage you, I'd love for people who are really interested in this coach to come drive it. Um, because you'll see what kind of power I'm talking about. This thing feels like a 400 horsepower, 450 horsepower coach. And, um, gosh, that's a gorgeous Porsche. So I'm going to set cruise control here. And Porsche Boxster on my left in a beautiful color. Wow, check that out. It's a manual. Oh, it's a 718 Boxster. I'm getting distracted. I'm way into cars. I apologize. Um, I have to brake cruise control because there's an 18 wheeler coming onto the highway. And I had to switch lanes. So now I'm going to set cruise control again. We're going up a hill. Um, I'm curious to see if it comes out of uh, overdrive, which is sixth gear. This is, of course, a six speed Allison transmission. And look at this steep incline. We're at 60 miles an hour, cruise control set. And it may shift a bit. Get a little extra. Actually, you know what? It is not shifting to fifth. Look at that. That's look at that power. It's got a lot of power. It didn't even have to come out of six. That's why this was getting 7.4 miles a gallon towing. Because it's got a lot of power. And when you have a lot of 
there's kind of a happy medium. When you have a good bit of power and you're and you're towing, or even if you're not towing, the engine's not grunting. It's not really working hard um, to move the rig. Um, so without towing, I'd say you could probably get up to maybe nine miles a gallon, um, depending on how you drive. If you drive like a grandma and you try to drive very um, efficiently, um, you can get a lot better gas mileage than you think. Just ease onto the throttle, slowly accelerate. You can get really good gas mileage. I'm going to take an exit here real quick. We're going to get back on the highway coming around. I want to talk about a few things. This thing handles very well. Um, one of the best selling points about the driving experience is the fact that I'm not fighting it. If you notice me driving, it was very second nature. I didn't have to think about it. There was no learning curve. It just, you set it and it goes dead straight. Um, the thing handles very well. Um, the wind is not very effective on it. I like this chassis because it sits just a little lower, um, or at least it seems to, the body. And a lot of the big weight is on the bottom, like the air conditioning unit. There's it's got basement air, basement heat. Um, so you've got the heavy units on the bottom, so the center of gravity is lower. And gosh, that's a pretty cool Mustang, too. Lots of cool cars out today. Holy cow. Look at that. Is that a Shelby? Check, check that out. Pan over there. That's nice. Anyways, it's really nice to have this color backup monitor running down the road as well. Um, because you can view your what you're towing. And by the way, this has a 10,000 pound towing capacity. 10,000 pounds. You could, you could tow like, you know, three Porsche boxers, boxers and half a Camaro. There's a little joke there. Anyways, this thing is, um, it handles very well. You've got a smart wheel, um, lots of horsepower, lots of torque from the C7 Cat. It's an excellent condition um, throughout it. It's been very loved. Um, it's a loved used coach. You've got brand new hardwood floors. Um, brand new inverter, um, only three-year-old Michelin tires, 77,000 miles is nothing on this thing. Um, this is a heck of a rig. It's got a, not a, a lot of nice options as well. It's got a washer dryer, basement air conditioning, um, dash AC blows cold. The sound system is excellent too, by the way. Let's see. Oh, it's just ads. The sound system is excellent. Um, it's got a lot of bass. Really good sound system. There's a subwoofer down in here, I think, and this whole dash vibrates with so much bass. Of course, you can turn the bass down if you'd like. The main fact is it's got very good, um, I think these are called tweeters. I, I know in cars they're called tweeters. I don't know what these are called. Um, but it's a very good, excellent sound system. We've got cold air conditioning and plenty of power, plenty of power. Anyways, that will conclude my test drive video and uh, all around walkthrough of this coach. If you need any more information or like to schedule an appointment, my name is Mayan Shaw. Feel free to call or text 864-376-5600. Thank you.